Diabetes is a growing problem in the United States, now affecting close to 30 million people. Many are in danger of an ailment that often leads to the amputation of their feet. But now, there's a breakthrough treatment that's become a last chance option. For years, it was certainly no walk in the park for Richard Hamill Jr. to take a walk in a park or anywhere else. I started to stumble and I crisscrossed my feet and I couldn't catch up and I fell down. <laughs> By 2013, Richard's diabetes combined with obesity had given him Charcot foot. That's nerve damage so severe he couldn't tell when there was pain in his foot. Because it doesn't hurt, uh, they keep walking on it and they don't get the feedback that they've got a problem. Dr. Michael Pinzer offered Richard a stark choice amputate his foot or roll the dice to try and save it. Dr. Pinzer used a device called the Elizaroff Circular External Fixator. It looks like a halo neck brace. Doctors attach the device to the ends of the bones during surgery and during daily adjustments. Tension pulls the bone slightly allowing new bone to gradually grow in. Saving a foot means possibly saving a life because obese amputees are often relegated to life in a wheelchair. Patients have to wear that device for 10 to 12 weeks before eventually moving on to diabetic shoes. This treatment is still new and not done by every doctor. Stay with us. We'll be right back.